Hello YouTube, how is everyone today? Today in part 1G, we're going to be f doing our final uh, uh, model in Blender, the final alien model. This is going to be our alien spacecraft. It's going to look like this. This obviously is the textured out version. In in Blender, once we've modeled it, it doesn't look that great, but I wanted to show you an indication of what it's going to look like in case you're thinking, well, this is rubbish, but it's amazing what you could do with rubbish after you've given it a little bit of texture and a little bit of time. So I'll work on this again. It's going to be quite a low poly version. You can adjust as you feel necessary. Let's crack on. We have our Blender uh, default cube there. Let's remove that. And immediately we're going to add ourselves a UV sphere. So go to Mesh UV Sphere. Let me quickly, uh, before I add the screencast keys, I will set the segments down to 24. And I think I got away with 12. You could probably do less. Um, I'm going to go with 12. I'll go with 12 for now. Uh, and see how we get on. Uh, immediately, uh, let me switch the screencast keys on. Start display. Usual disclaimer might not work. Okay, we'll scale it, everything down to 0 0.5, and then Control A, rotation and scale. Go to the front view, and we're going to scale this on the Z axis. This will create that initial flat surface that we're looking for here. Okay, let's scale down the Z a bit more. Going something like that and one thing I thought was that this one this edge here probably needs to be scaled in a bit so let's just scale it in the edit mode just to flatten that out okay the underside is not going to be seen uh, much <laughs> if at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select actually I might do uh, face select and then just grab some of these edge loops here and just see that lot there okay and then just gonna X faces Control tab to F. Okay, so we've got a flat surface at the bottom. Um, okay, good. We're in we're for a really good start. You can see how quick this is. What I'm also going to do uh, is just do C, select those. Now I'm going to face mode. C, select those and those. X, delete faces. Okay, and that's where the, that's the top bit. If we just go to our model, that's where this. Uh, Cockpit, I guess you'd call it, would you? Spaceship cockpit. Let's do the usual uh, tidying up and making it look smooth. Face is smooth, but we'll go over to object data, auto smooth. Quickly go to the bottom, control tab 2, and make that sharp. By the way, I don't know if I was clear, but control E mark sharp here is exactly the same as edges sharp there. I just interchange them at, at will, at random, depending on the how my mood is and which which seems closer okay we're off to a really good start guess what we need to do this um, little uh, cockpit like I say so let's uh, let's do the following let's go control tab 2 which we're already there select this and do uh, shift s cursor to selected and that'll put it if you can see right bang in the middle and we can now add another UV sphere again we can knock this down probably down to something like 16 maybe yeah, I think that's absolutely fine. And then we will control tab 1 Z and we will unselect half of these. This is the bottom ones, C. And by middle mouse, holding the middle mouse and just hovering over, we can get rid of that lot. Okay, make sure they're all gone. The X vertice. Oh. Excuse me. Did that around the wrong way, didn't I? No, I didn't. C. So unselect no you idiot yes yeah, sorry <laughs> see this lot excuse me we're keeping that lot it's been a long day uh, and then uh, we will x vertices there we go sorry about that people and i think if we sorry i'm practicing on the fly here but let me just l that lot to link it all that if i just now scale uh, against the uv I, what I did was I clicked the pivot point as the 3D cursor. Let's just see if that works. Scaling it. It does look. It does. It does. That's good. That makes life a little bit easier. We're going to start positioning this. I'm zooming in. I'm just going to keep scaling oh, scaling it down until that reaches that. Now, I think I've made my first mistake because it looks to me Like the verts are in a different position, which is surprising me. I thought I did 24. Let's just rotate this. 
I didn't do 24, did I? I must have done a different number. Great start, Richard. Okay, let's delete this and create another one. Shift A, UV sphere. My apologies, I did 24. That needs to be 24. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay. Uh, control Z, Z. There we go. C, C. Oh, Rich. C. There we go. And now middle mouse. Sorry about this, guys. We'll certainly get rid of all, keep all those. And then X, vertices. Right now, L, scale that in. Again, making sure the pivot point is the 3D cursor, which we have in the middle of that. Selection, that's better. Can you see these are all the same size now? And then what we'll do is we'll just scale these up. Scale it until, until they're exactly the same position. You can zoom in as much as you like. It should be ridiculously tight. No one's going to ever check that much that's for sure in fact that's as much as this thing will scale in so there we go right we've got the um, rather laborious task well I think I'm going to do it yep of merging all of these verts together they're so close together no one's going to notice so let's just uh, do that and then we'll just select that alt M at center okay and we're just going to do this over and over again by doing shift R okay, control Left, uh, left click and drag, control left click and drag, shift R, control left click and drag, shift R. I'm surprised one thing about this. <laughs> Actually, what we might be able to do, let's just try this. Excuse me one second. If I just do tools and remove doubles, it's removed 23 vertices for me, and that's because the merge distance there. If I just tweak that up to say 0.2. That'll really mess things up, but if I do um, 0.05, that should merge them all. Oh, it's merged 65 vertices. Okay, I don't like that. We don't want that many, do we? 0.01, 23. Okay, that has merged all of our little fellas together, so that's a bit of a time saver, isn't it? Okay, we're done. Um, I think that's that's basically. Oh no, I was going to add some little antenna, wasn't I? So let's let's do this. Let's put it into uh, mirror mode. So we'll select this lot here, X those vertices, and add a modifier uh, mirror on the X. Lovely. Just tab out rotation and scale, and then three Z. Um, it looks as though I need to pick a side to do it on. Let's do. Uh, this one okay and then if I do uh, I like so just pick a distance like that control tab edge select the bottom edge GG to something that looks like a square it doesn't have to be exact okay control tab 3 click that I went a bit mad on this. You could just do that, to be honest with you. I think I, don't, I stuck a little, I, I stuck another cube on top of it. I don't think that's necessary. I think just that is absolutely fine. Don't you? And you can see that it's still looking smooth. Ah, oh, the whole thing's not looking smooth though, so let's sort that out. Smooth, and I think we want to do to that edge there. And I bet you, what's happened here? Did I get rid of that bottom edge? I must have done. Um, edge is sharp. Okay, that will tidy that up. Yes. Um, let's apply the mirror modifier. It's not perfect there, is it? It's kind of messed that, that edge up a bit, but you will barely notice. Uh, what we'll probably need to do is just to start marking these as sharp. Oh. Control E, mark sharp. That might make a difference. Yes, it has. I suppose actually we need to make these sharp as well, don't we? Everything here is sharp. Control E, mark sharp. There. That's better. That's better. Right now let's apply this. Uh, oh, hang on. I forgot to do it to this one as well because I did it before I did the. after I did the mirror modifier. Uh, sorry, short tutorial. It's got longer because I forget to do things in the right order. Control E, mark sharp, and look at the bottom as well. How's that? Better. Let's get this bottom edge. I think for some reason when I applied the mirror modifier it deleted everything. We'll do F. Great. Let's save this. I'm going to call it Alien Craft. Oh. 
I apologize, apologies, I've been uh, um, playing around, obviously, trying to get this right before I do the tutorial. So, uh, obviously, call it whatever you like. Okay, I'm happy with how that looks. Uh, like I say, you know, it will look a lot more like that, uh, but at the minute, uh, it looks like this. Slightly more rounded edge there. Maybe I flattened that out. I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. It's close enough. Right, let's add some seams to this thing. It should be quite straightforward. Let's in turn off the mesh display sharp and start putting some seams in. I think I put seams in here, here, and here. Um, it's going to need one along this edge here to break everything up. You're going to need a seam somewhere. Uh, no, I lied. You're going to need a seam on on this bit. But because this is flat, you can get away with it there. You do need to seam this cockpit section up. So let's just go one again. Oh, was it control one? There, I'll do control one. And I will see, put a seam in here as well. That's, it annoys me that I have to do that, but I do. Control E, mark seam. Oh, I think I just marked that as sharp, didn't I? Well, I don't know what I did. We'll find out later on when things go wrong. Mark seam and also, do you know, I don't think we need to, do need to mark seam at the bottom. Let's take a look. Tab out, control A, rotation and scale. Slide it across. Let's do a quick control S to save. Tab out, pop you into UV image editor. You unwrap. <coughs> N stretch. Very little stretch. This is weird. Have I put a seam in elsewhere? It's weird, isn't it? How that's how that's. This is this bit. This this kind of seashell is is this guy, isn't it? It's almost like nature. I do not know why it's. I don't think it did it like that earlier. I think it was much more symmetrical. But it's unwrapped it nonetheless. You can see there's a bit of stretching here in the middle, and at the bottom. It's not terrible though. There's nothing really green, so we're okay. Where are my little? Ah, oh, I didn't separate them, did I? That could be why. That could be why it's struggling. Let's just mark seams on these guys. Edges, eight. And let's just get. Let's just. I'll probably do that, can I? No. And then something like that. Control E. Mark seam. These obviously are very, very small. Good. I should keep it consistent. Do the outside like that. Control E, mark seam. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> what a difference that's made, hey? Just by unwrapping those, it's um, cleaned up the uh, the cockpit unwrap. You can see it's, it's it's blue here, and it does it does kind of show. Um, but I'm not, I'm not hugely worried. This is this is annoying. Um, I think we're gonna we'll add another seam on the other side. And so at the front even, it will allow us to um, create a larger texture in general. There you go. Can you see? I think if we um, get a bit creative about how we design this, because the underside is never going to be seen. So let's just LGY. Let's just shift space to go into maximize view and then F to fill the face up okay I think if we just move you to the side a second I'm gonna zoom I might as well grab that lot put it in there just scale it up we might as well nice big aerial if you want to do something weird with it um, I want to get these this lot to scale so that it fits in like that <coughs> okay uh, I know that's going to mess up the bottom e element um, L no control Z control L grab that there and grab that oh I look at that crikey that's going to be tight but we can do this because I think in fact, if I rotate it like that, there we go. 
Is there more room for manoeuvre? Yes, there is. Not much, but a bit. Okay. Yeah, and then do you fit? No, it's scale you down. Make just scale you down to your fit. You think, ah. If you were ever to use this in a computer game where you would see the underside, you'd want to keep everything the same size, but we're not, so we won't. That is good enough for me. I'm happy with that. I'm going to save that, okay, and call that a done job. I think we are absolutely there. Was there anything else I added? No, all of this stuff is done via normal maps in uh, Substance Painter. Jobs are good, as we might say. So one more save. Call it a day. In the next uh, next part, we'll start to texture this stuff up. We're done with the modelling now, so we can start to create some really cool textures, make it look, you know, uh, ready for for in-game use in Unity. Um, that's gonna, you know, we've got what seven models. We've got no uh, six, five models, isn't it? We've got three turrets and two uh, alien craft. Obviously, you know, if you want to get creative and add some more craft, please do go ahead. I'd love to see some of the stuff you've got. Any issues? Be sure to comment. I will do my utmost to get back to you as soon as possible. Like and subscribe. I'm working on uh, a kind of motiv subscriber motivation policy, uh, so I hope you can uh, keep subscribing and, to, and uh, that'll make sure that you know I'm, I'm uh, motivated that people are watching this stuff. I'm rambling on now, so I'll let you get on. Have a good day. Hope this was good. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.